BBC News. This is World Business Report from the BBC World Service. I'm Susanna Streeter. It's a scandal that's seeping through South America and it's centred around Brazilian construction giant Odebrecht. A Peruvian judge has now issued a domestic and international warrant for the arrest of former president Alejandro Toledo over accusations he took a $20 million bribe from the company in return for allowing them to build a highway in Peru. He has denied any wrongdoing. The scandal has already embarrassed members of the administration of Lula da Silva, the former Brazilian president. And earlier this week, in Colombia, prosecutors said that the re-election campaign of President Juan Manuel Santos might have received around $1 million from Odebrecht. In Panama, the offices of the law firm Mossack Fonseca were raided yesterday by officials seeking possible links to the same construction firm. Odebrecht admitted paying almost $800 million in bribes to governments across Latin America as part of a December plea agreement with the US Justice Department. Giovanni Vincente is a political analyst and contributor for Telesur. He told me from Washington how far the Odebrecht scandal had spread. The Odebrecht scandal knows no borders and does not respect political geographies. So we are talking about a company that has operations across Latin America, in Africa, and also in the Middle East. And I think it was spreading as some kind of political Zika virus. So each country now is investigating bribery linkages to major development projects according to its own laws, of course. And in some ways, the scandal is the ultimate test for institutional transparency across Latin America in particular. Can you run through the allegations against Odebrecht in the various different countries? Because already they're they're hugely significant for the political elite in those countries, aren't they? That's correct. And I'm glad you asked that because we are talking about the largest anti-corruption operation in history. Just in December, Odebrecht revealed to authorities in the the United States, Brazil and Switzerland that over 15 years, it had paid nearly 800 million in bribes related to contracts for more than 100 construction and engineering projects in a dozen countries, which is something really, really um, shocking. Given that this corruption scandal stretches so far and wide geographically and in time too, why did it take so long before it was uncovered? Because, as I mentioned before, it's a huge scandal. It's a huge investigation. Odebrecht agreed to pay three point billion as a fine for these rights, and now this company is collaborating, cooperating uh, in terms of investigation. And most of these countries, they just hold back then list with the names of these people involved. So I think now we have been seeing a kind of reaction in the region in people now, they're taking a more active role and they are asking for answers. And it's very sad to see how this virus, this corruption, express in the region. What's happening at Odebrecht now? How has the company reacted to all of these allegations? The company admitted doing these terrible things. And they now, they are in favour of paying this this, um, tremendous uh, fine. And I think on this matter, they only uh, want to continue to work in the region or in any country of the world. And that's why they are paying this money, because they want to keep in business. Giovanni Vicenza. You've been listening to World Business Report with me, Susanna Streeter. Keep in touch on Twitter at BBC World Biz or with me at Susanna Streeter BBC. Goodbye.
This is the BBC World Service. Here's Shaima Halil with details of the response. How's your health? No, really. We'd like you to tell us about your experience with health. Just record a story on your smartphone and email.